Mornings with Madonna at the mansion on the hill. Wake up with our gorgeous Queen Madonna. Good morning to you. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to Mornings with Madonna on a happy Friday. You already know that Friday is floor plan Friday, but what you may not know is what a console is and why you sit on them. <laughs> Grandma, that's silly. You don't sit on a console. A console isn't a seat. It's a corbel with a scroll in it. We saw them a few weeks back. Great memory, Cliffy Poo. I am impressed. So you're right. Those were the consoles out by the front pillars that were standing up. Now we are looking at the consoles by the front steps that are laying down. The consoles are the most decorative pieces of stonework at the mansion. This one kind of looks like a stylized morning glory. What do you think, Cliffy Poo? Grandma, I, I don't know. I think it kind of looks like a trumpet vine. Oh, yes, Cliffy Poo. I suppose it does. While we have been talking about this flower... We have gone back and forth between the photograph of the actual stone carved 116 years ago and the one-to-one scale rendering of the console that architect Edwin Hewitt drew to give to the stonecutters over a century ago. Now, to help you understand what I'm trying to explain, I'm going to bring the board outside and place it next to the stone. Grandma, you're going to take the rendering out of its protective sleeve and bring it outside to the front yard? Yes, Cliffy Poo. I'm going to be very careful. But I want to show the viewers so that they understand that these drawings are full scale. Over the next year, we will show full scale renderings of columns, doors, built-ins, even dormers. They were drawn at full scale so that Edwin Hewitt could ensure that the artisans were producing exactly what he wanted. He even made them take a picture of it. In 1906, a picture. You're right, Grandma. That is remarkable. But what did you mean the console is to sit on? Well, that's the other remarkable aspect of Edwin Hewitt's work. You see, great architecture connects generations of people. This is a picture from 1949. The adult is Norbert Mack, and he has just purchased the mansion, and his wife, Edith, is taking the picture. The little boy is Spencer Mack, age two. Now, this is Spencer Mack all grown up, and his own son on the wall next to the console. But here is Spencer Mack, age seven. In the early 1950s, He was using this console as a seat. Here is his son, Martin, in the same spot, nearly three quarters of a century later. That is a powerful picture, Grandma. To think that Edwin Hewitt's architecture had a strong enough pull that it drew the Macs on a pilgrimage from Florida to sit back on that console. You are right, Cliffy Pooh. That's the power of great architecture. And thank you all for watching, and please press like and share it with others. Cliffy, great memory and insight today. Go in my purse, get a dollar, and treat yourself. Have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you Monday for a Meetup Monday on Mornings with Minana. Mornings with Madonna is 300 days, will be 300 ways to see 300 cliff tops.